Hi everyone, my name is Nick and today I'm going to show you guys how to update Microsoft Word both for the desktop application and your mobile devices. This is a super quick and easy tutorial so if you do find it useful you know what to do and with that said let's jump on over to the desktop. Okay so here I am just within a blank Microsoft Word um, document and what we're going to do is um, make sure that we have all the latest updates available for Microsoft Word on our device. So what we're going to do is just click over to the file option on the ribbon. From here, we're gonna scroll right the way down till we find account. We're gonna give that a click. And then in this section here on the right hand side, there's something called Office Updates. Now, if we just click on the drop down menu here, we are presented with four different options. The Update Now button, um, either enable or disable updates, few updates and more about updates. So if you see um, that you cannot update now, you'll first of all need to actually enable your updates first, and then you'll be able to proceed to updating the application. Um, one thing that you just need to know is obviously um, when you do this update, you're updating all applications, not just Microsoft Word. Um, but Word is obviously included. So what we're going to do is we're going to click on the Update Now button. And what that's going to do is it's going to go through and check the current version that you have installed versus the version that's actually most up to date online. Um, and in my case here, Microsoft Word is already up to date. Um, however, if you um, are on a previous version, what's going to happen is uh, Microsoft will proceed to downloading those updates. Now, depending on how fast your internet connection is, it will determine how fast um, your download completes. Okay, so once your download has finished, you'll then be presented with a new pop-up box by Microsoft. This um, dialog box will actually prompt you to save all your existing work on anything that you have open um, so you don't to so basically prevent you from losing any um, data. Okay, so as I said before, uh, this update updates all applications. So if you're working in Excel or PowerPoint um, and you know you haven't saved anything, you run the risk of losing that data during this update. So what you want to do is just hop over to each application you have open and just hit the save button. Less important if those documents are saved on OneDrive or SharePoint, um, but if you're using a network drive or a local drive, you're gonna want to make sure that you hit save. With all of that, all your open documents saved, you can then hop back over um, to this dialog box and then click continue. Now, once you hit continue, Microsoft will go ahead and close all of your um, Office uh, applications completely. They'll completely close off and then Microsoft will apply the updates. Once the updates have been applied, Microsoft then will then basically reopen all of those um, applications that you were closed um, and they'll open them to the same documents that you had clicked save on. Now, if you didn't click save, obviously it's just going to load up the previous version, okay? So you want to make sure that you've saved everything. It will then reopen up exactly where you left off. With that done, um, you'll then have this exact dialog box where it says you're up to date, okay? And then you can go ahead and click close. And that basically now brings you to a complete close on the desktop applications. So they've all been updated and you're on the latest versions. Now, we're going to hop over here to our um, iOS device. And what we're going to do is show you how to update um, Microsoft Word on your iPhone or your iPad. OK, the easiest way to do this is to actually head over to the um, App Store here and just search for um, Microsoft Word, okay, which I spelt wrong, but it should still work. Okay, so now we find Microsoft Word just here, and what we can do is um, see that it says open, okay, and, and what that means is there is no update, okay. So if there is an update available for Microsoft Word on your device, instead of saying open, it would say update, okay, and you just click the update button and it would update the application for you. Once updated, it would then switch into the open button, okay? So that's method one. Method two 
is to actually click on your avatar on the top right hand side and scroll down to the update section. This update section basically shows you all the updates that are available for every app you have installed on your phone. And you have a couple of options. You can scroll up and down this list, find the um, application that you'd like to update, click the update, and then you know let it install. Alternatively, you can click update all, um, and the update all button will basically update every application where an update is available to you, okay? Um, and guys, it is as easy as that to basically go ahead and update Microsoft Word to the latest version available via your 365 subscription. If you found this useful, you know what to do. And with that said, I'll see you in the next video.